All right, this is gonna be a quick tutorial on the Gainer in Water Temple. Uh, it's a pretty simple trick, but can be a little like weird to learn or weird to understand, I guess, in some ways. But once you kind of get a hand of it, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'll show you two setups for this. First one's gonna be the faster one, and I'll show a slower strat. Of course, we use a backup if need be. You just want to climb up on this very corner and just hop over to the end position and just play ZL, blow the water. If you pull Ocarina and that staff doesn't appear at the bottom, that means you pulled it on the same frame you landed, so just cancel and pull Ocarina again, it should work fine. So this cutscene the water drain is really weird in that uh, it continues even after you gain control of Link. So I can mash star here and I won't be able to pause any point until it fully, fully drains. But to prevent that, to be able to, to enable us to pause again, you can just um, pull like arena instead. And you can pause straight away. Which is a bit very important for going fast in this setup. I'm going to show you first, which is the uh, sword slash method. So you just want to slash your sword to reach off the wall and hold shield to keep that recoil position. And then pull like arena to uh, enable pausing again. Target, pause. And you want to be holding target when you pause. So that you can input an untarget side up and an impulse lag by just holding left and pressing A and nothing else, like so. So now I'm falling in midair without being targeted, and I can target this wall in front of me, and that's going to shift Link's momentum forwards towards the platform, like so. And that's pretty much the whole trick. It's very very simple, uh, especially when we do it like slower like that. Um, the frame window for targeting here is pretty big. I don't know the exact number, but it's hard to fail this trick by targeting too early or too late. Uh, you, you can pause both if you want to, um, but honestly, you shouldn't really need to. Uh, in full speed, this is what it looks like. So you saw there on the when I put the site up. I, uh, the camera was actually facing, we're still turning around Link. That will happen if you go fast here. The camera will be facing a different direction. It will still be turning. And so you have to input a side up uh, towards the hole. So the direction you hold is going to be different every time. So if I just like... In this instance, I want to go left. I have to hold down left here to get a side up. Like so. Just keep it in mind when you... Uh, are doing this trick that you want to just input a side up towards the hole not necessarily it's not always going to be left always going to be right for example it's always going to be it's going to be different every time so something to keep in mind uh, another thing you can do with this setup is skip the shield part entirely and just mash ocarina like so and the first four so the first five frames that you put ocarina here you can put ocarina um you can target this wall on the way down at any point. Uh, all frames after that though, you have to wait until Link is touching the left wall before you pause. So in this instance, I can target anywhere on the wall. It'll work just fine. But if I uh, slash, then let me recoil and sit for a bit, then pull lock arena and go. I have to wait, otherwise that happens. But if I wait until I touch the left wall, it'll still work. So, I personally recommend just mashing Ocarina, because 5 frames is quite a lot. <laughs> it's hard to miss a frame window when you're mashing like that. But if you're worried, you can always just wait to touch the left wall, or do the shield recoil instead, to guarantee the position. Either way, this is definitely the step you want to use. It's uh, not difficult at all, <laughs> and uh, it's a lot faster. But the other method I want to show is good for backup, so I'll show it anyway. So this method, you want to back walk into the wall, side up right, side roll, on target, retarget, backflip. And once Link lands, like his feet are on the ground, then you can uh, do the same as you normally would do. Just do your equips, on target, side hop, target, and go. One nuance about this uh, backup though is that, say you mess up this slash trap, like, oh no, I slashed twice by accident, then do not quick draw hookshot and then do the setup because 
This is most of a glitch list, but another other categories. But if you equip overhook shot, <laughs> this happens. You just fall off. Because the game prioritizes putting the hook shot away over sight hopping. So I'll show you again. Just nothing happens. So if you do use as a backup, then just mash A to put away the sword instead. And it'll work just fine. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm sure I missed something, so if anyone's having any questions, then just ask in the Discord. I'm always around, so... Uh, yeah. That's basically it. Good luck.